wealth, I can give a person a lot of money and them not be wealthy. So wealth is a mindset. So yes, you can instill generational wealth. So you can pass on your knowledge and all of that stuff as Because well. that is all that you can pass on. Dude, if you give somebody money and they don't know how to wield it, mm. you've destroyed them. A hundred percent agree. We were interviewing Patrick Bet David the other day and he has a new book uh, coming out called Choose Your Enemies Wisely. What do you think about that phrase? Choosing your enemies wisely gives you the ability to position yourself as a figure of power because, and I haven't read his book yet, but I have a list of the top 10 books that will make you rich. And one of his books, Your Next Five Moves, is one of the books that I recommend on, on my list. But picking your enemies wisely is important because first, you need to understand your current level of strength, your current level of weakness, and understand who you're up against. So understanding your enemy allows you to then pick your enemy. And you want to have enemies, you want to have competition, but you want to have competition and you want to have enemies where you have where? Advantage, where you have the higher ground. And I would all conclude it, it all would take me back to probably a quote by Sun Tzu that says, when you are weak, appear to be strong, and when you are strong, appear to be weak. And that is the ultimate way to manage and to determine who your enemies are because you manage them by managing the perception that they have of you.